Take a moment to close your eyes. See yourself sitting where you are. Take a deep breath in and out. In and out. Once more. In and out. Your picture yourself growing roots down through the floor and into the soil deep beneath your house. And push the roots down deeper through the soil, around the rocks, around the boulders, searching for the waters far beneath the earth. Keep on pushing down until you come to the bedrock far beneath the earth. Move along the bedrock until you find a pool of cool, cold water deep beneath the earth. And start to suck these waters up and bring them up through the roots, bring them up into your feet and into your legs. Feel the water coming up into your loins and into your belly. With each breath, bring the water further into your chest, into your arms, bring it up into your head, and push it out from your head and from your hands, flowing back into the earth. The cool, cold waters of chaos from below, coursing through your body, filling you with the energies from below. Now, reach up with your branches, up high through the roofs, up into the sky until you can find that one star directly above your head and start pulling down that fire from above, the light of order coming down into your branches, bring down into your hands and into your head. Feel the light coming into your chest and into your belly, mixing with the waters from below. Bring the light down into your loins and into your legs and to your feet. And see your body glowing with the light of order from above and the waters of chaos from below mingling throughout your body. Feel the energies of order and chaos, of light and water, of fire and water mixing throughout your body. And now, we're only going to keep what we need. So send the light back up to the heavens, send the water back down to the deep, and keep with yourself all that you need. And then take a deep breath in and out, in and out. And then once more, in and out. Erin, join us, ready to work magic. First, we make offerings to the Earth Mother. You who surround us and support us. You who give us all we need to sustain our lives. You are responsible for the crops. You're responsible for everything that we experience day in and day out where we live. For all that you do for us, Earth Mother, accept our offerings. And we are here to honor the gods and we are here to ask for blessings in return from the gods. <sighs> Mighty well, you who reach deep into the ground our connections to the ancestors, we give you silver. And we ask that you connect to the ancestors for us this day. We say sacred waters flow within us. A mighty fire that burns and transforms 
and sends all we burn to the heavens to be received by the gods uh, as you take our offerings high once more we say sacred fire burn within us the mighty tree your roots go deep and drink from the wells below your branches go high and reside among the gods. We call on you to be our pathway between all the worlds today. Connect us not just to the underworld, but to the upper world too. Sacred tree, grow within us. And each and every one of our groves, by the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. On the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. On the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. And now we call on the gatekeepers. Gatekeepers all, you who have aided us throughout the many years, be you deity, be you animal, be you spirits, we call on each and every one of you to aid us tonight and join us in our rites. We call on you to open the ways between the worlds. We call on you to take our messages far and wide and bring back that which we need to hear. We call on you to watch over us as we walk your holy ways. Gatekeepers all, accept our offering. Now, in my home and in all of our homes, gatekeepers, join your match with mine and let the well open as a gate to the underworlds. The fire open as a gate to the upper world. Let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be opened. May they be open not only in my house, but in all of our houses. First, make offerings to the shining ones. Gods and goddesses of elder days, you who watch over each and every one of us, call you our matrons, our patrons. Gods and goddesses, you who look over all of our friends. And gods and goddesses, you of our very places of residence, whether you are known to us or not. To each and every one of you, we offer you and say, come, join us by our fire. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Now, the land spirits, be you fur and feather, scale and skin, our animal kin, we offer you welcome. Be you leaf and twig, stick and stem, all of our plant kin, we offer you welcome. To all the unseen, hold a folk, elves, dwarfs, fae, and what other, what other names you may have. To all the unseen, we offer you welcome. Come, join us at our fire. Land spirits, accept our offerings. Land spirits, accept our offerings. And mighty dead, gods and goddesses of elder days, so not, yeah, mighty dead, not gods and goddesses. I already did gods and goddesses. Mighty dead, you of our family, those who have come before us and brought us to where we are today, you of our chosen family, our friends, our heroes, and you of each and every one of our places of residence, you in the very soil where we live. 
to each and every one of you. We call to you, ask you to come and join us by our fire. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Ancestors, accept our offerings. And at this time, if there are offerings that you wish to make, please make them. As I've offered before, I ask again, may cooler heads prevail, may what is best for all be done. And now, if all offerings are finished, give one last time. Ancient and mighty ones, gods, dead, and land spirits, we give to you one last time, and we ask, kindred all, accept our sacrifice. Kindred all, accept our sacrifice. And mighty kindred, we ask, what blessings do you give to us today? And the shining ones, the shining ones give us Isa, ice, stagnation, and the land spirits. The land spirits give us Soizo, the sun, wholeness. And the ancestors. The ancestors give us birth. The dice cup. Games of chance. I'm reading this somewhat as a warning. Issa is talking about things not progressing as we may like them to. So is always telling us keep our eye on the final target. And then Perthro is saying we have a chance. We can stack the deck, but we have a chance of reaching that final target. Hope is not all lost. Do we accept these omens? Okay, I don't hear any objections, so. Ancient and mighty ones, we have given to you, and we ask that a gift returns, demands a gift. In good gusty fashion, fill these waters. Fill them with Isa, with Soizo, with Perithril. Fill them not just in my cup, but in each and every one of our cups. Behold the waters of life. Behold the waters of life. And now, let us thank all of those who have aided us. Ancestors, each and every one of you, whether you're known to us or not, for being present in our lives. Ancestors, we thank you. Ancestors, we thank you. Land spirits, be you animal, plant, or unseen, for all you do throughout our days, uh, land spirits, we thank you. Land spirits, we thank you. Shining ones, be you known to us or unknown to us, 
all of those who look over each and every one of us. Shining ones, we thank you. Shining ones, we thank you. And gatekeepers all, for all that you have done for us in the years uh, past, to all that you have done for us tonight, and for all that you will do for us in the future. Gatekeepers all, we thank you. And we ask that once more you join your match with mine. Let the well become but water once more. Let the fire become but flame once more. Let the tree become but a tree once more. Let the gates be closed. Let the gates be closed. And Earth Mother, you surround us, you support us. Without you, we would not be here. For all that you do for us day in and day out, whether we like the weather or not, without you, we would not survive. So Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Mother, we thank you. And go now, children of earth, with wisdom and peace, for this rite has ended. <laughs>